Today, the story of lemons, limes, paprika, vitamin C, and sailors in the 17th and 18th centuries who spent long time on the ocean and problems that they encountered. All right, let's start with the lemon. You know the old song, lemon tree, the flower is very nice, but the fruit of that tree is impossible to eat. Well, not impossible, but, but not great. Malic acid and citric acid in the lemon, pretty tart. However, believe it or not, there are bloggers out there who tell us that lemon juice is the cure-all for almost everything, from diseases of the liver to heart disease. Well, there's an interesting historical connection, realistic one, with lemons. And uh, that takes us back to sailors. One of the scourges of long ocean voyages was a disease called scurvy. Uh, scurvy manifests as, as bleeding gums and eventually goes on to attack the, the heart, and you can die from, from this. Nobody knew what was causing this disease, but it was very, very common on long ocean voyages. And then a Scottish physician came along by the name of James Lind, who thought that there might be a dietary connection, and he carried out what we can look at as the first randomized clinical trial in history. Aboard a ship, he divided sailors into groups. Some of them he gave sulfuric acid because he thought that that might be protective against scurvy. Others got different foods, and some got lemons and oranges. And it turns out that the sailors who got lemons and oranges were the ones who were eventually spared of scurvy. Of course, Lynn didn't know what the active ingredient in there was. That came much, much later. Today, we know what it is. It is vitamin C. And vitamin C was uh, finally isolated in 1932 by the Hungarian scientist Albert Sanjurdi and hid it from paprika because paprika has a very high concentration of, of vitamin C. Anyway, Lind thought that perhaps the reason that lemons and oranges were protective against scurvy was because they were acidic. And it turned out that there were other fruits that were acidic that were much more readily available to the British than lemons, limes. Well, it turned out that lime did not work quite as well as the lemons in preventing scurvy because, amazingly, that has only about half the vitamin C content that lemons uh, have. So they switched back to lemons, but in the meantime, British sailors started to be called limeys because they were eating lime. Well, anyway, finally in the 1930s, as I said, vitamin C was isolated from paprika, and it is now available in pill form. Today, scurvy is really non-existent in the Western world because we all have enough uh, vitamin C in the diet, but there are other allegations about vitamin C, what it can and cannot do. For example, it's supposed to prevent the common cold. The fact is that numerous studies have shown that that, that just doesn't happen, except in some very rare situations where soldiers are exposed to very cold temperatures or marathon runners who are highly stressed. When they take vitamin C, anywhere from 200 to 1,000 milligrams a day, they have somewhat fewer colds. Uh, but uh, the evidence is not there for taking vitamin C randomly in order to prevent the cold. And certainly the evidence is not there for lemons having any kind of medicinal uh, value in terms of preventing heart disease or any other medical condition. But I can tell you that if you just take the lemon and you scrape the peel, and you put it into a salad, it will add a lot of zest to the salad. Although I don't think lemons will add much zest to your health.